Pillows from popular brands, including Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and of course, My Pillow. In our tests, we assess pillows based on how well they support the head and neck of both back and side sleepers of a range of sizes. And this resilience test measures the firmness of the pillows to determine how each one holds up over time. The pillows ranging in price from about $4 for this one from Mainstays at Walmart to $170 for this Tempur-Pedic consisted mostly of memory foam, polyester fibers, or a combination of both. If you want good support and a long-lasting pillow, you'll have to spend some money, but maybe not $170. CR found that some of the cheaper pillows did offer good support out of the box, but when it came to keeping their shape, many fell flat. In our tests, we found that pillows that were lower priced tended not to hold up as well as pillows that cost a little bit more. And even some pricier pillows, like the $40 MyPillow Classic and the $65 Casper, earned only fair scores for resilience. The best of the bunch, CR recommends the $60 Co-op Home Goods Premium Adjustable Loft Pillow. It's excellent for both side and back sleepers of any size. And it comes with an extra foam kit, so you can adjust the pillow to your liking. For News 3 Now, I'm Leah Lynchide. So one caveat from Consumer Reports, all of the recommended pillows accepted the, uh, except the top rated co-op pillow struggled to be more breathable. Sorry, I can't find my words <laughs> here. I'm falling asleep. That's the, the one they just showed, the expensive yeah. one, the $60 one. For example, while Tempur-Pedic's $170 Cloud Breeze Dual Cooling Pillow did earn a Consumer Reports recommendation, it only scored fair for breathability. So you got to do your homework, apparently. I can just sleep anywhere, <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't matter to me. Right on the ground. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we